Uh, my name is uh, Terry Michael. I'm director of the Washington Center for Politics and Journalism. I'm a freelance writer on HIV and AIDS from the perspective of a 37-year member of the Washington, D.C. gay community. My question is for Dr. Uh, Barre Sinusi. Um, in um, late 2006, in a video interview, your co-winner of the Nobel Prize, Dr. Luc Montagnier, said, and this is a, an accurate quote, complete and in context, we can be exposed to HIV many times without being chronically infected. Our immune system will get rid of the virus within a few weeks if you have a good immune system. It goes right directly to the question of early intervention or no intervention at all. Dr. Barre Sinisi, what is your opinion of your colleague, the co-winner of the Nobel Prize for discovering HIV, his view that natural cell-mediated immunity antibodies can rid the body, a host, of HIV within a few weeks, and uh, why or not? Why or why not? Do you uh, agree or disagree with him? Difficult for me to comment on my, on my colleagues, as you can imagine. However, I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking personally. I think the innate immunity is certainly something to consider for controlling uh, HIV infection. And there is more and more data. Uh, uh, that are published, which are published in the lat literature that show how much uh, the innate the natural immunity is, uh, uh, is, uh, is part of the game, uh, both uh, also for in, as a driver of adaptive immunity. So uh, certainly we have to consider natural immunity uh, to control HIV infection. With, uh, I know that there are several Montagnier, but not only Montagnier, a few that said uh, that uh, uh, if you have a good immune system, then you can protect yourself against HIV infection. I think uh, we don't have uh, serious data to say that, in my opinion, uh, today. Uh, we have to consider the data from the literature uh, when you are exposed to HIV, it depends uh, to the amount of the virus that you are exposed. It's not only depending only of whether you have a good immune response or not. It's also depending of uh, the amount of the virus that you are exposed. It's depending also of your genetic background. Uh, so there are a series of factors to be considered to, see, to, to say that you are more or less susceptible to HIV infection. So, and of course, the genetic, as Azir said, the genetic background may play a role in the evolution of the HIV infection as well. Um, I'm sorry, we just need to no, move on to, to some, um, no. we just need to move on to some other questions, please. Uh, we have.